everybody. Thanks for tuning in into our very first discussion here at Escape. My name is Jasmine Arrington. This is Jamil Davis. And what does Escape stand for? What, what is Escape? It's empowering self knowledge to African American people everywhere. And our mission is to demand and practice respect while promoting true African excellence and moral conduct. We hope that each and every one of you will be more than willing to participate and give feedback as we continue our discussions and help provide you the best knowledge out there, okay? Now, today, what we're talking about on Escape is how do we tap into ancient love? Hmm. Good question, right? Yes, it's a, gr a great question. Okay. Well, when I think about ancient love, I can't help but associate royal with it. You know, um, mm -hmm. I think about a solid foundation. I think about um, supreme loyalty between the union. Um, I think of strong protection um, and an empire. Um, not necessarily something materialistic, but um, a building of, mm -hmm. a building up of, um, mm -hmm. you know, gaining. So that's what I think when I think about ancient love and how to tap into it. You know, who knows, honestly, mm -hmm. Jamil, who knows? How do we tap into ancient love? And well, we must know that love exists in all of us. Mm -hmm. it's it has never been gone. That's what keeps us all together. So I think by fellowshipping with people and learning to forgive and forget and open yourself up for love, that's how we tap back into it. We must cut out negative influences that block us from love. Like we have reality TV shows, we have negative uh, rappers mm. and people who put out bad images. Absolutely. I was thinking, um, I can remember in my childhood watching mm -hmm. Disney all the love stories and and you know the great romances mm -hmm. and so I think you know perhaps having that idea of what love is and then being into reality watching our parents mm -hmm. um, I think that plays a part in our idea of what we think love should mm -hmm. be so, you know, I think tapping into it would be to disconnect TV, like um, kind of as you said, in other areas. Yeah, we have to de deprogram ourselves. Absolutely. We have to relearn what love is. Because, you know, our earliest form of education of love comes from our parents. It does. And, and if our parents haven't taught us what love is, it's mm. important that we go out and learn. So education. Education. To tap into love, we... We need to be educated. We need to be educated on what is love. What love is. And what is love. And not to run with an idea that is a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Because when you think of all the princess and romance movies, they'll show all the good things about a relationship. But you know? for a certain class of people. You have to remember that. Yeah. They'll show all these great things, but they leave out reality, mm -hmm. you know? So then we're all like, well, I want a Prince Charming or a, a queen or a princess right. this. But we're not realizing, you know, maybe Cinderella was had some bad sides to her, mm -hmm. you know, but she was depicted as a perfect, you know, right. person to be with or mm -hmm. to love or whatever. Because that camera is not mm -hmm. on them 24-7 to right. get the full reality of what love is. Right. So in that sense, tapping into love, we would definitely need to disconnect from mm -hmm. society's breeding of this fantasy idea. Because, yeah. you no, know, we also have, like, love and hip-hop and right. um, Housewives of Atlanta and stuff. That's not what love is. It's not. You know, love is not attacking one another. It's not degrading mm -hmm. one another. It's not belittling one another. Mm -hmm. Love is uplifting and empowering people. Mm -hmm. Love is a spiritual connection between two or more people for the purpose of everlasting happiness and stuff, you know? Yes. Not degrading or thinking you better than or mm -hmm. uh, it's, not people, it's not a competition. It's not a competition. You know, it's not. No, it's, not it's not a competition. You know, when you love somebody, you don't want to compete with them. Right. You know, it actually hurts that mm -hmm. they would see you as a threat or some form of competition versus a team player. Not you really. know, so tapping in ancient love, I mean, we really need to understand who we are and what we want out of love. 
and we need to have pure intentions, mm -hmm. you know. So, like, you know, to go back into tapping in it, I also think we need to connect with nature. Like, mm. once you start understanding what nature is, you love it, go out with the animals and the plants and the trees. Once you start loving them, then you start developing a sense of love. A deeper love. A deeper love. So you got to have that connection as well. If oh, you don't love wow. animals and the, the, the creations of you know the other creator, you would not be able to experience that love. So once you start loving all of God's creations as he created them to be, mm -hmm. then I think we will be able to uh, resurface that ancient love that we once seen. I agree. Before. I agree with you, Jamil. I really Thank do. You. Um, I think it's important we do that sort of stuff together, mm -hmm. you know, not, I mean, individually as well, you know, go out there and connect with nature, but mm -hmm. I think it's important that we do it together. Let's both put our hands in the dirt and, you know, yeah. collect rocks or whatever we're doing. You have to touch the trees because the together. trees is what keep us alive, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, you know, give us that oxygen, but just imagine if you touch that tree and how much power you will get, how much love you will be surrounded with, so. Right. and. That kind of relates with ancient because mm -hmm. back then, you know, they weren't as modernized with the housing and stuff that we have now. They were out in nature, right. and you know, things that I, wasn't. I, mean, I would think yeah, they were things that wasn't man-made. I mean, we they connected with the Be universe, right? Before shoes, yeah, before you know, the feet both and, on the ground. Mm -hmm, you know, I agree. I agree. I think that plays a big role into tapping into. You know, that ancient love is what kept our communities, our villages, everything together during the ancient times. Right. And the reason I think that was possible is because it wasn't about fun, dating, you know. Back then, I don't think they were doing it for fun. It was to establish kingdoms and, and all other sorts of royalties. Yeah, it wasn't I, about fun. Right mm -hmm. now, you know, we go all looking for love. Oh, we're just dating, having fun, girl, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not about a serious... I'm not thinking about this as a real investment. You right. know what I mean? And so I think that what they do is they go in and asking for love. They're really seeking lust. Mm. So that, that goes into our first question. What is the difference between love and lust? And why do most people get the, the two confused? 